Eight years ago, my son became ill. He happened to be away at college at the time, and suddenly he was unable to cope with the simplest things. He was overwhelmed with school and just confused. And a decision had to be made about whether he continued at college or whether he needed some help. Now, I decided to bring him back and he was hospitalized. And the hospitalizations lasted over actually several years. At times he was hospitalized for many months. And eventually he was diagnosed as suffering from schizophrenia. Now, schizophrenia is a difficult disease because it skews the person's reality and his perceptions and his understanding of what's around him. He simply was unable to do what normal people would be able to do in their daily lives. And it was frightening. Uh, he, was, he was sometimes uh, filled with terror because voices were talking to him. And I can remember so clearly laying in bed hearing him cry early 5 a.m., 4 a.m., whenever, crying out for the voices to stop. And as a parent, I couldn't help him. I can tell you that he was a, had lost so much. You know, when you're that age and you can't drive and you don't date women and don't do other activities that your friends do, it becomes difficult. For Kyle, there was a long period of adjustment. He sometimes moved forward, but there was also times when there were steps backward. And it was not the kind of situation which would happen overnight. It required that both parents, Diane and I, be patient and understand that it was going to take time. Kyle was placed on medication, and the medication had substantial side effects. He put on a tremendous amount of weight. He's about six foot tall and weighs 300 pounds. And it's not because he eats a lot. It's simply that his body uses the medication in a way that he's unable to lose the weight. Treatment has been coordinated in a fragmented way. It's difficult in the public system to get coordinated care for mental health. And it's important that Kyle have day-to-day -day supervision. And most private practitioners in mental health treat individuals with adjustment order disorders where they go maybe once or twice a week. But in Kyle's case, he needs care on a daily basis, and the physicians are not available to treat him. Research for schizophrenia has truly just started. It is a very difficult disease to diagnose as well as treat. There are medications that can be taken, and sometimes the medications work for one person, but that, that don't for another. And so it becomes trying to adjust for that particular individual. Someday, hopefully, at the molecular level or at the DNA level, we'll be able to sort things out and treat the person, but that's a long ways away. Why am I doing this? Why am I out here right now? And the reason is I support a group called NAMI. Uh, they provide to the community, whether you have mental illness or someone in your family has mental illness, with education, uh, advocacy, and support, getting you hooked up with the people that you need to be hooked up with. Uh, NAMI has uh, half a dozen or so educational programs. Uh, I happened to take one of them. It was parent to parent. 
and it was a 12-week program of listening and talking about the adjustments that need to be made. And these programs are available. They're free, and all you need to do is connect with NAMI, which stands for the National Alliance of Mental Illness. People there have been trained and available to speak with those that seek out their service. And there's so many of us that are impacted by mental illness, NAMI is a key for the support of that community. The good news is that Kyle has certainly improved. Over the last several years, he has made adjustments in himself as we have, and the quality of his life has gotten much better. It may be that he has some insight into his disease, or it may be that he has detached himself so that he can look at himself and see what he likes and what he doesn't like. It may be that he has anticipated some hope that things are getting better and that he will be able to be active and have a job or go to school and do things that would be positive and healthy. Each day is a new day for Kyle and it's not easy. He struggles, whether it's daily activities, whether it's getting to a particular part, point, whatever it is. And his mother and I are committed to providing him support. And he, in turn, has responded to that support. Many situations are difficult for Kyle. If he's out with people that he doesn't know or strangers, he becomes very quiet. And I think he most enjoys the time that he spends with people that are very close to him. He's working part-time at a kitchen at a nursing facility and has a few shifts a week. And he's also taking a course in culinary arts at CCAC North. And as a father, I can tell you I'm delighted for what he's doing. I mean, he is my hero. This year in October, NAMI is having a 5K walk to raise money for the community and the cause. We are gonna meet down on the south side and walk 5K along with several thousand of other people. And it's really exciting getting to meet other people that have used the program or used NAMI and we also have people that are family members, people from all over. Some work for social agencies. And it's just a great morning coming together and just feeling that connection and feeling that vibe. Uh, I look forward to the walk every single year. The walk began about six years ago. I happened to come up with an idea for a walk and I read about NAMI and I went to the executive director at the time, Harriet Baum, and she and I worked together in establishing the first 5K walk six years ago. And since then, each year, our walk has grown and grown and the participation has been fantastic. You know, I've decided to do something differently this year. Instead of having the parties that I've had for the last six years, I'm holding a scramble on September 26th. It's gonna be at Hickory Heights, and it's gonna start about noontime. Uh, we're gonna have prizes, and we're gonna have a dinner buffet, and we're gonna have drawings, and we're going to just have a great day, a great time. Uh, if you can make it, I invite all of you if you can't make it, but still want to contribute, there's a web page for Jim's Jocks, which is the team that I happen to captain, and you can make a donation there. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate your time.